hello everyone welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my channel so today I'm going to discuss uh, uh, AR transaction how to create a transaction and I will explain each field in AR uh, on the transaction level so so let's start I am I will switch the responsibility This is a receivable responsibility. I will select the billing. So this is our uh, billing dashboard, right? So now I will click on task. This is a task. In the task, you can see all the available options, which is for the transaction, create transaction. You can create transaction and here you can create a credit transaction, manage transaction, approve adjustment manage auto invoice this is for the customer and this is for the customer account balance and this is for the accounting if you want to run the accounting for whole batch so now i will click on create transaction so if you see on uh, fusion and r12 there is not big difference on the transaction level so almost i see all the fields here which we have in r12 right so they are just only for the dashboard and of course the technology this one is oracle r12 and this one is oracle fusion and there are some like new features which i will show you in on the transaction screen level so which was not in oracle right so and the look and feel is very good in oracle fusion compared to oracle r12 so this is our uh, transaction screen so i will create a transaction this is a transaction class which we have same in oracle r12 so from this class you have to select invoice credit memo debit memo right so for now i will create invoice to select business unit and transaction source so you know when i will select the transaction source so based on the transaction source the transaction numbering is generated if it is automatic then the system will generate the automatic transaction numbering. If it is manual, then you have to enter manual the transaction number. So I just click on the transaction source. Let me cancel this transaction. Okay. Okay. So now I'm not. Uh, I've not cancelled this transaction because uh, it's start working. It's hanged for uh, a few seconds. So transaction source, right? If I select the transaction source manual numbering okay so you can see this numbering is enabled if I select the automatic numbering right suppose if I select transaction source manual right so this manual is enabled for automatic numbering right when the when the transaction is completed then the transaction number will be generated here so I will select manual numbering and I will enter the number like 1001 this is my transaction type so you can select any of the transaction type right 
this is a type of invoice okay you can say okay so this is a transition class this is a transition type so okay you know what is the difference in transition class the transition class is like invoice credit memo debit memo but transition type okay in the organization you may have different type of the uh, transactions right so which may be like okay as per the business scenario so it's not like that you will have only the invoice transaction type right so some invoices booked in the specific transaction type and some invoice will be booked with the or uh, uh, different transaction type but it's a uh, but the transaction or uh, transaction class will be invoice only this is a transaction date and this is a accounting date our accounting will be performed based on our uh, a gl accounting date this is the sales person if you want to select the sales person you can select this is invoicing rule okay i'm not going to use invoicing rule for now and here this is currency so you can change your currency here and and uh, this is a document number document number is sequential numbering which we call in r12 and uh, uh, if it is set up if it is required then the document number will be generated otherwise it will be blank and freeze now build to name i will enter my customer name Adani customer and this is a ship to name this is bill to site number this is a ship to site number and this is a payment term so you can select your payment terms otherwise it will come it will pick from the, the customer level when you define the customer so on the site level it's pick the payment terms and this is a two uh, due date uh, transaction date plus payment terms it's equal to the due date right so now next is invoice line yeah one more thing here before moving to invoice line you can click on the show more you can see the more details here okay in this show more if you see there are some additional fields uh, we can see on the customer level if you see the full details you can see address and paying customer sold to before that just we can see only the uh, bill to these two fields ship to these two fields right and if we go on the payment we select here the payment terms this is the checkbox exempt from late charge okay so when you enable the late charge functionality then this checkbox should be enabled so this is basically control from the customer level if you enable this one on the customer level then by default it will be uh, checked here so first you have to do the setup for the late charge and then you have to enable i will have i will make separate video for the late charge it's very interesting topic you can choose in your organization if you have any uh, business scenario okay in oracle fusion so and this is a revenue address here these are the miscellaneous information okay so you can enter it whatever you feel for your info uh, for your organization so you can enter the miscellaneous i will hide unnecessary information and we'll move to the invoice line so in invoice line if you select the item you have item or or you can leave as it is because it's not a mandatory in description i can enter laptop and quantity one amount is like two thousand dollar okay so this is my line and online and item i have entered you can add a number of lines here okay so each line having the distributions i will show you where the distribution is and where the accounting generated so if you click on the Oh, this is the line information this is the tax determinant so here this is the tax classification the tax business category all these things and here this is the revenue scheduling if you uh, have set up for the revenue scheduling so you can set the revenue scheduling and generate the revenue okay so we have entered all the required information and 
will click on the save here there are two options save and close and just save so i will just click on the save now the information is saved and status you can see incomplete this is now amount is uh, line amount is uh, 2000 and tax is 180 so the tax is uh, uh, applicable so for this customer if the tax is enabled then the tax line will be generated automatically you see you can see the sales transaction business category okay and uh, this is a sales credit tab so here you can enter the sales credit detail now now click on the action this is added distributions so you will get the pop-up message which is funding message so before editing distribution you must save the transaction yeah so we have already saved yes now we want to continue yes so we can see here our accounting the receivable and revenue account this is our receivable account and this is our uh, revenue account okay so and if you see this is our tax one and tax two this is the context value dff so this is all about the uh, uh, distribution if you have uh, more lines on the transaction then it will have the multiple uh, distribution with the line number i will click on save and close <clears throat> so now we have uh, created the invoice we have saved the invoice and we see the uh, uh, distribution now next is we will complete the transaction so here option is complete and create another no i don't want to create another i want to just complete and review click on complete and and review so now you can see your status is complete before that it was incomplete status even if accounting is not done you can change the status complete to incomplete if accounting is done then you cannot do anything here so now if you see the status is incomplete yeah one more thing here there's attachment you can add attachment here also right and even you can also add the notes this is a note so you can okay create the note here you can create notes so this is you can do okay so now what i will do i will save this one or it if it is incomplete status you feel this transaction is wrongly created i need to correct those information or i need to book a new invoice and i want to delete this one in incomplete status you can delete the transaction also so i'm not going to delete because my transaction is correct i will complete and review so this is now in the complete status and in complete status you cannot do change in any field except the payment terms you can change the payment terms here okay say example uh, right so you have changed the payment terms here and i can change back like net 50 so in net 50 based on net 50 the due date is also changed right and you can click on view image you can have a very nice view which is not available in r12 see you can have this view and you can print this this and even you can download this one so this your invoice generated with lines including tax lines bill to ship to invoice number all required information is there 
if sales person is there then it will print here close this one now we will click on actions and now we will see before uh, save we cannot see any more options now once we uh, saved and complete now we can see the more and more options right so here we can do the credit transaction we, uh, we can perform manage adjustment revenue installment and review distributions duplicate post to laser accounting draft view accounting and view balance detail so now now our invoice is created it's completed status and i want to do the accounting so first i will run in the account in draft so you have to wait you can run the accounting from here you can schedule an accounting program so if it is scheduled like every half an hour so whatever invoice is created under that time all will be accounted so here you have to run the manual accounting so i will click on accounting draft Once the accounting is done, and you can see the confirmation, and you can see the view accounting here. I click on the view accounting. You can see the view accounting, right? This is receivable, revenue, tax, and rounding. So even you can click on the view T accounts. So T accounts, it will show you the more graphical in this format. So it will show you this is account receivable okay so this is enter usd enter usd uh, net activity for this one and this is debit side this is credit side right so this is our receivable so definitely it will come on the debit side and this is our uh, uh, tax so it will come credit side and if this is revenue it will come credit side so this is this is the our entry so debit is Two thousand one eighty dollar and credit is two thousand one eighty dollar. So it means debit credit is equal. This is good and uh, yeah, this is the T account. You can have a nice look on this one. Now I will close this screen and status. I can see dropped. I will make it final mode. Final mode in art will be called as final mode accounting in the final status. So you have to click post to laser. So here no concept, here is just infusion draft and post to laser. So uh, in art will be a three option draft, final, and final post. So draft means you can just uh, run in the top mode you can review the accounting and you can change the accounting but in final mode you can review the accounting but you cannot change the accounting and you have to run the transfer general entries to gl program to transfer uh, sub ledger entries to gl in final post the entries will be directly transferred to gl here we have just only uh, dropped and post to GL. So you can run draft and you can review the accounting and file the post, it will directly transfer to GL. So now you can see two things here. The status is final, and second is this is a new option. Overwrite account. This is this is very uh Nice features is say which I will say because normally in our tool what happen once you book the uh, wrong invoice right and if you uh, invoice in the incorrect account and later you realize it's accounted everything is done right you don't have any option you will create the credit memo you will knock off or you will uh, and you have to create a new invoice right but here if suppose this revenue account is incorrect right and i want to change this revenue account so what i can do 
because of this feature just click on the line click on overwrite account you will see this is your current account and this is new account in new account i can select my say for example this one revenue hardware account okay if you see now the account is changed and i have to enter the region now invoice is booked in wrong incorrect account so this is the region i have entered and submit in this phase you don't need to run any accounting again because it's in the final status and this option uh, and, and now you can see the general entries line has been overwritten with a new account schedule process has been submitted to transfer and post the entry right so which means now what system it did this is our old line right so system is reverse this line and transfer the general entries so which become zero balance and system is created a new line with my uh, new revenue account so if you see here this is the invoice created line 2 and this is line line 3 if you see here the override region reversal invoice booking. so this is override region given by the system and this one i have booked so this one i corrected this account 41002411100 and in system is overwritten this account so this is a over record I mean overwritten account okay so if you see view t account one entry you will see debit and credit side so which is incorrect account which is for the incorrect account so I just click on the T account and we'll see the entries. So these are the two features. It's good. Like overwrite account. This is very nice feature. So if you see here, this is our receivable account. We have debit entries. This is for the tax credit side. Yeah. This is our old account. 41000 which is the revenue domestic if you see this is debit side and this is credit side one line debit side and one line is credit side so which means this entries is knockout and even in the GL also the program is transfer the reversal entries in the GL and the new accounting which is for the revenue hardware it's it's credit side so this is the correct accounting is performed. Okay, so now next is you will see what else we have here are the new features. We will see, yeah. Next we'll discuss about the view balance details. Here we can click on the view balance details and we can see the balance view by enter currency or account currency. So we have the same like enter currency USD and account currency USD. So if you have different uh, currency, enter currency suppose Euro and account currency USD, then you can see the balance in Euro. What is the balance and uh, uh, and USD? What is the balance? So if you see original amount for this uh, 2,480 tax, this is the total amount this this you can see in the balance details so this is all about the invoice uh, standard transition which we have created the next scenario before moving to the next scenario I will just uh, Yes, I think we have covered all the options here, right? So this one we will check in the new in the new session, right? 
how to create the credit transaction and knock off the invoice AR invoice so and uh, in the next next session I will create like uh, some other transaction and will apply on the uh, transaction will create uh, uh, deposit different type of transaction then will come on the setup parts so like I will show you all the differences also what we have in r and what we have in Oracle so what are the major differences I will definitely tell you that this is a major difference that I say in on the Oracle Fusion we see the T accounts and uh, and uh, uh, this one the overwrite account features is very good features right so so please keep watching my channel and share with your friends to grow my channel and if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel thank you